Are we going to try to use the same shape for the for the sail panel? Yeah. What I are think, we doing here? I think we can get those to fit. So you want to do them both? Yeah. In the pillar? Yeah, we'll get both of them. So the we don't pillar. need it on the sail panel? Then. No. So you just took part of my job away from me? Yes, I did. Golly. Welcome back. This is another day at GP Rod and Customs. Another day on the 95 Impala. Uh, today, you all know me, I'm Brian, but today I'm going to introduce you to Taylor. We call him Golden Boy around here. So I'll let Taylor talk to you about what he's going to do with the pillars of the 95 Impala. All right, so we've already started our acrylic rings. Uh, got a Real tight tolerance here. We've got a 45 chamfer, a uh, little over quarter inch thick, and rabbited on the back side for some price grills. Those are gonna go in the pillar on the Impala, and then we're gonna fit the three and the tweeter from the Pocal speakers in here. And uh, just start fabbing them up and going from there. All right, so we just got done gluing in the support sticks onto the acrylic ring and cutting out the A-pillar. Um, being that the tolerances are so tight, these are gonna be a reverse mounted ring. So this ring with the speakers in it will actually mount from the back side into the pod um, since we have such tight tolerances around the, all the edges. So we'll take uh, once we get this all glassed up, the um, reason why we use wood instead of acrylic is because it sands easier so we can sand it down into the shape that we need it to be. Uh, and that's pretty much our pillar so far. Okay, so we're going to do this easier way. We're going to use some real cloth and super glue and some activator, just like you would fiberglass, but benefit is it'll be done today and it won't warp so we'll stretch that on over and glue it down and then fill the backside in with a slurry and then uh, go from there 